So I'm filming infield footage now for you guys, and I got caught today, okay, for the first time. And it actually wasn't the girls I was talking to. And even when the girls I was talking to found out, they didn't even care. And I can even put like a little clip in here to show you guys, but they thought it was hilarious. They were fine. I'll just roll the audio now, because this is after the video got cut off. Who the I know that man? Huh? Is that the friend that you're with? You're with me? Oh, is that yeah. like a friend you were with? Yeah, I guess he was just getting a video of me, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, sorry. Basically, when I go with my friends, like if I talk to people or whatever, I'll have them like record me just like talking to people. Um, and like I blur out faces and stuff, and I'll use it for like B roll with no audio on like social media and stuff. So yeah, and they were like mad about it. And they were mad at, yeah, they're mad at him. Because I like teach social skills and stuff to like, to like shy guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I'll just like, as a, yeah, no, so like as a favor, I like have my friends like get clips and stuff of me. Are you like B roll? Well, I have a mic on, but I was doing stuff downstairs. Take the mic out. What's up? Take the mic out. Okay, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. So I got caught, and this is like one of the things that would be like the worst nightmare for a guy that is approaching, like getting caught doing something suspect or whatever, or weird. But the girls I was actually talking to didn't care because they thought it was funny, they thought it was a cool guy, and they could tell I didn't have like any malicious intent or anything. That's a really important thing to understand is that like there will just be some people that hate you and there will be some people that really think you're cool and what you do doesn't necessarily ruin anything okay this interaction went super well now if you guys want a full breakdown of this clip i actually will be doing a full breakdown in my school community that's linked down in the description for 54 dollars per month i'll be doing regular infield breakdowns showing you guys getting me back on top of my game because honestly you know i haven't talked about it that much on this channel my game is at like a six out of ten right now i'd say it's not even like the best and i never would say that it is but i understand this stuff on a really deep level so i feel like i can teach it so to get back to what i was saying like the point of the video there's a lot of things that could happen to you that would be like the worst nightmare of the average guy trying to get better at this stuff i was telling miguel the guy that helps me film dude this would absolutely destroy the week of any guy that you know oh, one of my clients you know a guy that struggles with this stuff and he was fine with it because he's kind of got he's kind of got some good general confidence about him like doesn't think he's like that weird of a dude but that would like totally destroy the week of a guy and how do i not let that affect me because these girls were pissed dude they were pissed i was filming at least her friends were um, the girls I was talking to were not. They didn't care. They thought it was cool. But how do I not let this affect me? Well, primarily, I realized that I have a mission that's bigger than myself. I have a mission that is bigger than other people. And so if you go out and you approach, then you need to understand that you're approaching and you trying to get better with women is so much more important than what people think of you. It is infinitely more important. And that's just what it is. And that's, you know, that's how I sleep well at night, knowing that, you know, I'm going out, making approaches. I'm trying to help guys. I'm trying to really help guys that I know are struggling. Like, I know if you're watching this, there's a good chance you're struggling a lot with confidence and social skills and you want to get better and you might be struggling with a lot of the same things that I used to struggle with or even the same things that I do still struggle with to this day because that's a lot of what I talk about in my content is like stuff that I'm working on in my own game because you know as you level up as a person you start running into new issues that you didn't have before you know I have different issues now that I'm in a big city you know a smaller fish in a big in a big pond a big ocean I have a lot more issues now that are different than being in Springfield Missouri running game on like college girls and being like really fucking cool knowing a lot of people. So if you really have a hard time with dealing with other people's opinions, here are three things that you can do to really get over that so you can start taking action. Because really, until you take relentless action for a pretty good period of time, like multiple weeks in a row, it's gonna be really hard for you to notice any results. So first, what you need to do is like I said, have a mission that's bigger than yourself. And the mission needs to be revolving around something that not just you want in your life, but a bigger value that you hold. So a big reason that I want to get good game is one, to teach other people how to do it. I already have, you know, really good knowledge and I've had very good game in the past, but the reason I want to get back to having really just amazing immaculate game is because I want to be able to teach it better and on a deeper level. And then second, I also want to have that game for myself so that I can make things more fun for me and my girl because I want to be able to, you know, pull girls and like have, have a fun time, make, make their relationship more exciting, spice it up. She likes that. So that's another big thing. And then third, I like being a guy that has the crime in his life lifestyle because it makes the lives of not just people like, like my friends better. You know, I'm more confident, more fun to be around, all that type of stuff. So those are my three reasons that are significantly bigger than me for why I want to work on this stuff and why I want to get better. So the next thing you need to do in order to drop other people's opinions is to start valuing 
your own life and your own results over the experience of other people sometimes. So sometimes you need to value your own experience or the things you've got to get done in your life. So leveling up social skills and improving that, you have to value that more than the experience of other people. So if you have to approach someone and like, yeah, it interrupts their day, bothers them a little bit, or it inconveniences someone for you to ask for something that you feel like you deserve, then it is what it is. You might have to do that and that's okay. That's totally fine. And coming to terms with that, like that you might be an asshole or a villain in someone else's story, like you gotta be okay with that. Cause you, <laughs> there are gonna be a lot of people that hate on you, that do not like you. Even on some of these videos, like there are some guys that really don't like me. I'm pretty small on YouTube, right? You go to my Instagram, has like 50,000 followers. There's haters there, right? There's people that I'm sure just watch my shit because they hate me. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, it is what it is. They think my stupid head, my stupid glasses, my stupid bald head, you know, it is what it is. They can think that. That's fine. That's totally cool. I, uh, I don't judge those people at all. Now, speaking of judgment, the third thing you need to do to detach from other people's opinions is to drop the judgmental mindset, okay? Don't judge anyone. You need to catch yourself when you judge other people. If you have preconceived assumptions about other people. If you feel like other people are a certain way, then you need to realize those are just judgments and that you don't know shit. And you need to humble yourself that you don't actually know how the world works. And that can be very hard to do as you get older, but you have to realize that these judgments that you put on other people for how they perceive you, it's just projections for how you see yourself. And you need to be self-aware enough of that and be honest with yourself. So one thing that you can do after watching this video is write down some judgments you have about other people and some harsh truths that that says about yourself and the projection that you're actually making when you make those judgments. Because that is a real Really, really important thing to understand about yourself. If you feel like you don't have a good grasp on what limiting beliefs you have, maybe you have some blind spots and you can't really figure out what's wrong with your mindset, you might need a mentor. So you can click the link down below in the description and you can actually apply to work with me personally one-on-one. -on -one. I only take five to seven clients per month in my one-on-one -on -one program and we will work very closely together to fix a lot of these limiting beliefs, a lot of these issues as well. If you can't afford mentorship, that's totally fine. You can also join the school group down in the description. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.